Hey guys, what is up? We are gonna be talking about the By Terry Eye Light Palette today. I purchased this off of Beautylish and it is brand new, I believe it's limited edition. And if you're interested in seeing me do some swatches, talk about this palette a bit and show you this demo of this eye look right here, then just keep on watching. So like I mentioned in my intro, I purchased this off of Beautylish, it's $49 and it is limited edition. I actually just checked the Beautylish site just now, just to be sure. Uh, it is limited edition and just to kind of read off what it says here, the Terribly Paris palette is a limited edition creation to celebrate France's mythical capital city. 10 exclusive eyeshadows mixing perfect matte or satiny nudes wearable alone layered or blended together for a bespoke eye look. I believe I first saw this palette last year at Harrods. Harrods uh, is a department store in England and I believe they had this palette there as an exclusive, as a limited edition. So I think By Terry has re-released this on a broader scale. Maybe it was only similar. I'm not, again, I'm not exactly positive It's a, if it's the same exact palette, but it looks very, very similar to that palette that I saw. So there are 10 shades in here and there are four satins and six mattes. So the first three shades are satin, and then this shade over here is a satin as well, and then the rest are mattes. I've used this already, so you probably can't see it, but there's a beautiful like imprint into this entire palette that kind of gives you this whole story. There's like an Eiffel Tower here, uh, like a bridge, and then this looks like the front of the By Terry store here. So it's a really beautiful palette. It's really fun when you open it up. It's very eye-catching. Oh, here, right on the cover, actually. Oh gosh, I don't know if you can see that. Um, but there is a printing of what is imprinted onto the palette. I don't think you guys could see that because it's so reflective, but the packaging is very much like their Sun Designer palette. It's like the same size and similar, like similar quality, I guess you could say. It has the same kind of weight, the same kind of feel. It's hard plastic and there is a mirror on the inside here. It also comes with a brush that I removed, but is a dual ended brush. It has like a flat shader on one side and like an angled liner brush on the other. I have not used that. <laughs> I generally don't bother using the brushes that are included in palettes. So there is, or what appears to be like a micro glitter kind of overspray on the four satin shades. There doesn't seem to be an overspray at all on the matte shades. However, this first one, this white shadow over here, I think, because I haven't used much of this white shade, but I have kind of swatched it pretty heavily, and I think those little micro glitters are actually in the shadow. I don't think it's just an overspray. But for the other three, I think it's just an overspray. It's really, really hard to tell because when you start using it, and especially with this shade here, it kind of gets a little bit everywhere, so I'm like, I can't really tell if it's in there or if it's just on top. I think for the other three, it is just on top. I'm fairly certain. Why don't I go ahead and just show you some swatches that I did. This palette, I will tell you, does not swatch well at all. I do think it performs on the eye better than how it swatches, and I'm not exactly sure why. The pans are very, very small. They're very, very skinny. So at least one reason is that I just simply can't get my fingers in there to kind of get like a nice swatch. Um, the other reason I'm thinking is these are very powdery kind of shadows. So I don't actually pick up that much on my finger. And then, you know, when I swipe them on my arm, they kind of just get everywhere. They, they just look a little funky. So I will say they don't swatch great. And you'll see here in my picture that they don't look fabulous. And when I hauled this, I kind of did on the fly swatches and those did not look good either. <laughs> and I really like the colors in here. I like that there's like a pink and uh, like a terracotta here, um, peaches, and you've got some warms and some cools and they all seem to like look very nice in this palette all together. So I really like the color range and I like that it's a 10 pan palette. It's not too large, it's not too small. It's like you can do definitely a couple looks out of this and it's very, very pretty. So what I will say, I've played with this palette a, a couple of times. I wanna say that I feel like the colors get better as you move from left to right. So these three colors here, very little impact. This white color kind of just dusts away. Same with this light pink, this light pink color. It just sort of dusts away. I use this shade, this beigey shade in my inner corner. It's okay, but I already feel like it has kind of 
dusted away or it's already kind of disappeared a little bit. And I have this all over my lid, uh, which is okay. And again, I, I feel like the darker the shade, the better they are. So this one works really well. These three work really well. You know, actually this entire half of the palette works a lot better than this front half of the palette. And so when I have used this palette, I've given myself pretty decent looks. Like this look I think is very nice. It's very, very uh, work appropriate. It's very, very everyday. Um, it's very by Terry. It's very sophisticated. I think it looks very nice. The shadows uh, blend it out really nicely. The longevity isn't really there though. So that's been my one issue with the, the wearing of it. I haven't noticed any creasing or any additional fallout. There was a little bit of fallout when I do apply it, especially those more uh, glittery satiny shades. But in terms of wearability, for me, the longevity was not really there. The shadows definitely faded after, I wanna say, I'm trying to think back to that day. I wanna say after like four or five hours, it was like visibly faded. So today I actually put on some uh, eyeshadow base and I think it's doing better already. So that's my one issue again with the wearability. Um, I talked about how those first few shadows aren't that great. I think you can probably tell that I'm not overly wowed by this palette. Other than that, I think this palette is pretty decent. So let's go ahead and let me show you the demo of this eye look. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a cooler look today. So I'm gonna go into this shade right here, which is kind of very uh, lilac-y in tone. So it's a pretty cool tone matte. I'm gonna go in with my uh, fluffy blending brush. I feel like this is the brush I always start my looks off with. This is the Tom Ford number 13. I'm gonna brush this color all over my lid and bring it up, not all the way to my brow bone, but uh, close, like right over here. Next, I'm gonna go into this taupey color over here. It has a little bit of shimmer in it, not much. It's, uh, I guess, a little bit more of a satin shade. And I'm just placing that on my outer V area just to kind of darken it up a little bit. Then I'm gonna take a flat shader brush and I'm gonna go into this last shade over here. And this shade is a matte shade. And I'm gonna place this just on the outer corner here just to deepen that up a teensy bit more. I'm going to take a pencil brush and go into this, whoops, this uh, third color here and I'm going to use this on my inner corners. And I'm going to take another pencil brush and I'm going to go into this matte plummy shade here and I'm going to line my eyes with this. All right, that's it for the eyeshadow palette. What is my hair doing? Um, I'm gonna put on uh, some eyeliner, mascara, lips, and I'll be right back. All right, so here is my final look. Uh, I pretty much have given you all my thoughts in the beginning of this uh, video, but some of these shadows are very nice. Some of them, uh, I think, need a lot of work. They need a lot of building up. They kind of just sort of blend away. Uh, and I talked about that when I showed you the swatches and everything. So overall, I think this palette is okay. I don't think that this is something you need to run out and get. So those are my thoughts on the By Terry Eye Light palette. Let me know if you have any thoughts down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I'll see you in my next video.